the next presentation poster number 84 are future nurses knowledgeable to come back with bloodborne viruses a descript descriptive cross sectional study the authors are isurani n a y abiratna g g n u uh, pumini r a p ranasinga s r d silva l n kottachi j uh, gunawardana c s e the presenting author abiratna g n u Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. I am Nadisha Nyabiratna from University of Sri Jayawatanapura. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all for giving us the opportunity to present our research in this forum. And our research was, are future nurses knowledgeable on non-risk factors of bloodborne virus to combat with bloodborne viruses? We conducted this research during our undergraduate period at University of Sri Jayawatanapura. As an introduction, you all know that nurses are at a higher risk of being exposed to bloodborne viruses during their day-to-day -day practices. Yet, this can be prevented by having a good knowledge on uh, bloodborne viruses. Uh, we conducted a descriptive cross-sectional study among 209 nursing students in a selected nursing training school, Sri Lanka, using a self-administered questionnaire. We got the ethical clearance from the Ethics Review Committee, Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Sri Jayawadhanapura. Moving on to results, this uh, bar chart, uh, pie chart shows that the majority of the nursing student had poor knowledge regarding transmission of bloodborne viruses. As a percentage, it is 56.9%. Uh, and when we further analyzed according to the academic year, we found out there is a statistically significant association between the knowledge and the uh, higher with the higher academic year with the significance level of 0 0.00 and uh, the bar chart shows the knowledge, breakdown of the knowledge regarding transmission of hepatitis b virus and hiv virus um, hiv and we take the, uh, the those two virus uh, because they are more important we, and uh, as you can see, the knowledge regarding hepatitis B virus is uh, poor compared to HIV. And uh, majority of the nursing students have given correct answers regarding uh, uh, common methods of transmission of those two virus. But only minority had uh, given correct answers regarding transmission via uh, sharing household. Only minority had given correct answers re regarding share, uh, transmission via uh, sharing household equipment uh, by kissing and hugging, swimming in pools, eating contaminated foods, and uh, exposure to excreta. Finally, in conclusion, we can say that the knowledge regarding HIV is better compared to the hepatitis B virus, and bloodborne virus transmission need further emphasis on the curriculum for future nurses. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Can you tell a bit about how the marking was done and the, the, uh, the tool? Were they multiple choice questions or fill in the blanks? And how the scoring was done? Uh, we ga gave a questionnaire as tables and uh, we gave, uh, gave them uh, gave a one mark for each correct answer and uh, zero for each uh, uh, incorrect or blank answers and we calculate the mean and uh, categorize them as po uh, poor knowledge and good knowledge. Okay. Now you mentioned that the knowledge score for HIV was better compared to hepatitis. Could it be because the, the, the general knowledge um, about HIV is more among the general community also? Could that be a reason? We also thought like that uh, due to the general knowledge they have given correct answers. Uh, what was the cutoff for scoring was there? I mean, how do you decide that good knowledge or poor knowledge was there a cutoff? Uh, we go, uh, got the mean mark as uh, 22.71 and we categorized uh, all below 22.71 as uh, poor knowledge and above that as good knowledge. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause to the presenter.